I have with me the Samsung Galaxy S4 and not only do I have the 4G version, this one is the quad-core 1.9 GHz version. I also have the optical version. In this case, this one is 3G. Um, you can get the optical version in 4G as well, depending on which market it is available in. But this one is a 3G one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do an unboxing of this model here, but just give you a quick comparison between the two in terms of um, performance and specs. So just looking at the back of the box itself, just to give you a quick comparison. Everything is pretty much the same. The only difference is that the optical version has a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor plus a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. And uh, the quad-core version only has a 1.9 gigahertz quad-core processor. I'll put some more details on the screen as well regarding which, which processor type it is. And I'll, Apart from that, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, in terms of performance, they're pretty similar. The, both of them are black, so um, otherwise I would have unboxed both to show you the different colors. Uh, both of these are black. Um, the box is pretty much the same. That's what the S3s came in before. So just looking around the box, pretty much the same uh, uh, packaging and uh, the box uh, information, apart from the uh, processors and the model numbers. The optical version, this one I have here, is the 9500, whereas the quad-core 4G one is the 9505. So although the box has already been opened because you can see that that label has been taken out, and uh, because this was an overseas version, the charger has been replaced with an Australian version as well. So uh, what I'll be doing is just to show you the box contents and a tour of the phone as well as compare it with the S3 and take you through some of the uh, features of the phone. So initially when you open the box, you find the phone right there. And uh, I'll just put that aside for a moment. You have some instruction manuals. So you have a handbook. It just take, uh, which just tells you how to take uh, photos using camera shot, dual camera mode and things like that. That's pretty handy. And I believe this is all made out of recycled material. And that's pretty good on Samsung's part. Um, you also have the instruction manual, a basic instruction manual. Quick start guide. Just showing you around the phone. Your sensors and your buttons and things like that and some warranty information so i can put this aside as well um, then you get a set of half decent headphones uh, with an inline mic they're pretty decent standard samsung headphones with uh, a couple of different tips to suit uh, fitting in your ears so that's that you get a micro USB cable, so uh, that can be connected to your charger or it can be used to sync to a computer. And because it's an international model, it has been replaced with a standard charger. So this particular one, you'll get a charger as well as a cable instead of just getting the cable and just the adapter for it. So that's pretty much what's in the box. Just put these aside. So now um, I've already... Um, put in the battery before and just turned it around to the setup to just avoid taking the time to show you that. But I will take it through the phone uh, and also compare it with the S3 now. So I'll just get rid of the plastic. And the phone actually uh, has a similar build quality to the S3 polycarbonate. Um, I always didn't like the um, feel of it, but this one feels a bit more solid than the S3. Um, although the back cover is still a bit flimsy, but uh, also the uh, sort of finishing is a bit different. It actually looks much better than the S3. And uh, just take you through the phone quickly. So um, in the front, you have a 2 megapixel camera. And then you have all your sensors, your light sensors, your microphones, your proximity and gesture sensors. And at the bottom, you have uh, another microphone as well, as well as your home button. And you have your capacitive uh, menu and back buttons. Uh, so that's the front. At the bottom is where you have uh, a micro USB port 
for charging and syncing. At the back is a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash and autofocus. And that's the speaker. And uh, on the right side of the phone, you have your power button and sleep button. That's, that's about all you have on that side. Um, at the top, you have uh, the microphone and uh, also your uh, jack for audio out if you want to use headphones. On the left hand side of the device, you have your volume rocker buttons. Before I um, open it up, just to show you the battery, uh, just give you a quick comparison with the S3. So now I have the uh, first model of the S3 here, which is uh, the uh, 9300. You can see the front is pretty much the same, save for uh, that other sensor here. Uh, and uh, the shape of the home button is slightly different. You can see that the S4 is slightly bigger because it has a 5 inch screen and the S3 has a 4.8 inch screen. Uh, and obviously the resolution is completely different. Uh, this one was about 306 ppi uh, this one is a massive 441 ppi the screen is a 5 inch screen and has a full hd 1920 by 1080 display so um, much much better screen obviously on this many more sensors many more things to do um, at the back while the s3 had an 8 megapixel camera the s4 has a 30 megapixel camera. The speaker for the S3 is right here, whereas the speaker for the S4 is at the bottom here. And uh, in terms of weight, uh, the S3 weighs 136 grams, whereas uh, the S4 is only a tiny bit lighter at 130 grams. In terms of uh, how thin they are, the S3 is 8.6 millimeters thin, and the S4 is a little bit thinner. It uh, stands at 7.9 millimeters. So um, just to give you a side profile between the two phones. The other thing to look at is uh, the battery, the size of the battery. So that's the back of the S4. Now, with my S3, I'm actually using a third-party battery, uh, which is a 3000 uh, mAh battery because I wanted to, it to use it for a longer period of time. But the battery size is the same as the original. And this is an original uh, battery for the S4, which is now 2600 mAh. I'll just take out the battery for a second to show you the difference. Just to show you the difference in size. And you can see there that it is slightly a bit more wider in terms of the length it's pretty much the same but slight, just slightly a bit more wider the other thing to notice is that uh, for the S3 the micro SD and SIM ports are at the bottom but for the S4 it's at the top here so your micro SD goes here and your micro SIM goes in there and that's the basic differences between the phones obviously the S4 is much much better in its performance and also has the latest version of Android. I'd also like to point out that uh, apart from these two models I spoke about, the S4 will also be coming in a mini version, a dual SIM version, and most likely a water resistant and dust resistant version as well. Now just going to the uh, back cover itself, like I said, I, I'm not a big fan of the build quality. You can see that it's very uh, flimsy and feels a bit cheap. Having said that, that's where the NFC uh, is incorporated. And I'm just gonna close up the phone and just turn it on. I have already done the setup before, um, but just want to show you how quick it turns on. Okay, so that's the basic layout as it comes, and then you can obviously customize it. And in your initial setup, you get options to sync it to your Google account, you know, create a Dropbox account, you get 50 gigs for two years. And basically it helps, takes you through all the setup in the initial stages, so you're ready to go once your phone is turned on. Um, and let's look at the software version. 
So you can see here that the uh, Android version is 4.2.2 in the S4. Now you can see that you can go to my device and uh, actually you have you know options to set up your things like air view, voice control, and also your motions. So all your motions here. So all these things are incorporated to the phone now. Um, the interesting thing I would like to see is the camera with the dual camera. Now I believe uh, once you come to the camera, you just tap on that. And uh, I'm just going to place the S3 here at the bottom. And I'm just going to wave with my hand here. So you can see the dual camera, how it works is that uh, it actually lets you shoot both sides. So it's very good for, you know, for example, if you want to take a video of your kids or a picture of your kids and also want to see your reaction. So just to give you an idea, that's the S3 from the back camera and that's my hand waving at the front camera there. You also have a lot of modes, best photo, best face, sound and short and all these other things. So um, very good uh, options for your different pictures and different videos. Now the S4 retails for about $800 outright in Australia if you want to buy the phone outright. Uh, both versions are similar, that is the 9500 and the uh, 9505. You're looking to spend about $780 to $800 uh, if you want to buy it outright at this point. Now I've also got a couple of uh, flip covers. I'm, I was trying to get my hands on the S View cover and do a video on that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on one for the moment. But uh, just to give you an idea of the flip covers, they come in different colors. I'll be putting that on your screen now. I've just got two colors to show you. and. Uh, I probably wouldn't buy these myself. Uh, I would probably go for the S View cover if I was to get the S4. Uh, but just to give you an idea of how they look. So that's the uh, flip cover there. And I believe you have to take off the battery uh, cover at the back of the phone and fit it into this here. Because uh, if you were just able to fit it in like that, doesn't go so let's try that you just fit it in to the back like that and then you have your Flip cover installed. I'm not really a big fan of these, but yep, yeah, it's not a bad uh, cover. It's very um, thin, but uh, that's what it looks like basically. And you can get different colors. Uh, I just got the black and the yellow with me at the moment. Big thank you to Mobile Made Simple who provide me with the phones and the flip covers to make videos to share with you guys. So do check them out. I'll be putting the details right now on the screen. And uh, I also have a, a video coming up soon on some giveaways, as well as my test with the Sony Xperia Z where I put it through the spaces. Thanks for watching and do subscribe, leave your comments and give me a thumbs up.